Hi all, in this video we are going to be discussing about two important tools which is more relevant to the teachers. These two tools may be called as an A2 for teachers. The first tool which I am going to be discussing about called Alina is A2 for teachers. The second tool is called Defeat for teachers. This also may be called as a teacher assistant. These are two tools only we are going to be discussing as part of the District tool for teachers or A2 for the teachers. The first tools which you discussing now it's called alina so once you create an account so we can create an account with the use of sign up options after creating sign up options we have the interface like this so in what are the way it may helping means so it's like a normal chat gpt we can also be prompting here based on the prompting give the responses and the second option is called instant resources suppose you want to generate a instant resources based on the teacher's perspectives just to give you the title then it's going to generate a content based on our prompting and there is called curriculum creator here we have the option called syllabus generator scope and sequencing unit planner then lesson planner queue generator rubric generator therefore the a to z of the teachers uh, features are available so what are things we are expecting uh, in the case of classroom transactions everything is uh, usable here so we can use the a to to and similarly if you like to generate the image generate like text to image we can use this so we have the four option like ask alina so that is same like uh, chat gpt for example i'm asking this questions uh, how can i use chatbot in the classroom so i'm asking the prompting when you click this enter so based on our prompting it gives us responses this is a normal chatbot uh, which is available in the alina so other than this uh, i already mentioned this like a teacher assistant here if you go to the instant resources when you click the instant resources suppose i need to uh, generate a material related to the inclusive education when I type the title like inclusive education, so when you type the inclusive education, so we have the option like topic based we have to be uh, generating uh, resources instantly or text passage. We can add some text passage based on we can generate it. Otherwise, you can add this link, uh, URL link based on the URL link generating information or if you have the PDF or any kind of file, we can upload based on we can generate here materials. But here I am going to topic based. After topic based, we have the option called resource types. Which are the resource types we are expecting to generate from the A? We can select like this uh, reading passage summary, main ideas. Suppose I like to go with the discussion question glossary, we can select it. Similarly, in the case of assessment, we have the option like MCQ, fill in the blanks, to or false already generated. I mean, uh, it, the default features is selected. Suppose I need a short answer, I can select it or deep thinking questions. Which are the assessment things we need to be added, we can add it. And after selecting this, we have the differentiations and enhancements. We have the three options already enabled. Suppose we need the advanced learner activities, we have to select it. Then after selecting all the features, because these are the features we are expecting to generate from the A, then after that, go to the next step. When you go to the next step, it asking what kind of grade level is this? And just selecting the grade level, adult education, and the subjects it's like a professional education or special education, you can select this. Then after that, click submit. When you click submit, uh, within, within a few minutes, uh, the content is going to be generated. Now you can see this is a materials producing now. Yeah, so I got this material. Now this is the first one uh, label reading passage. We have the reading passage, a um, lot of contents produced by the lessons. And if you need to copy or if you need to further edit, go with this edit. And if you go to the summary, we may get the summary of this, uh, the material which is provided by the AI. And we have the main ideas and themes of the, the particular passage. And discussion questions, we have three questions. And we have the glossary, so important key terms they are discussing here. And if you need to get a MCQ question related to the inclusive education, so it's suggesting a MCQ also with options. And filling the blanks and with the answer also available. And true or false, with the true or false, we may get the true or false also. So this is a true or false responses and short answer questions. So this way, this tools might helping us. And you can see the above also, we may get a wonderful image that was generated by A. So based on your input, the machine generating a, a, a images, this is also drawn by the machines. So this way we can use it. Suppose you like to export and share, if you click the export and share, it asking whether you need to download PDF or export to Google, so a lot of options are there. If you click download this PDF, within a few minutes, it's going to be download. So, and see the resources which I downloaded is available. If I open this resource, you can see this entire PDF version is available. The entire PDF version with the images, all the materials are available. 
So what are things we read from this? It's available as a PDF version. We find we can chat with students also. Even you can see this uh, Bloom's taxonomy level, grammar question, understanding questions. All the levels of questions are available. The second tool which I like to do the demo is called Defeat for Teach. So this is same like Alina. So the URL for the Defeat for Teach is beta dot defeat dot me and dot account. So here after login, you can see this after login you can find out your profile pictures. We here we have the option one we can go to the topic or we can give this article URL based on the URL is produced the content or we can upload a content also possible. But here I'm going to the topic wise and it asking the uh, reading level and just clicking this the high level is called eleventh grade press. And if you need any language, any Indian language also be supporting, but I like to go with English now. All the Indian language is permissible. Then click generate resources statistics. Now the message giving the responses like this. We may get a wonderful presentation slides like images. So the images is available. This image also drawn by the message or it will be sources also available, some of the sources. And this includes education materials. See here. The first one we have got the adopting reading passage. The second one we got the summary of this the passage which is available above. And uh, like a glossary, we may get some kind of important terms meaning and multiple choice questions, then short answer question and open ended questions. So this is the uh, these two tools are very much important for the teachers because the two tools may helping to the teachers to generate information. Suppose you like to translate also, you can go to the translate, you can go to the Malayalam. Suppose I like to go with Malayalam or Tamil, you can select it languages like this. You can go to the languages. Suppose I like to select language Tamil. I click the translate, um, then it takes few seconds to be translate also. Now you can see this the resources which is available previously in English. Now it's available in Tamil. So like summary, then the vocabulary words as well as multiple choice questions. Everything is converted in Tamil language. Like we can convert any language to any language. Hope you are enjoying the two tools uh, demonstrations. I hope you may be used in the features. Uh, thank you all. We meet the next video. Bye.